was simply scrumptious. You know, we should go to the school association meetings more often. Yes, indeed. Reminds me of what a pretty family I've got. Mm, you smell good. Shaving lotion. Remember when you bought me this? I sure do. It was the time you forgot it was your birthday. Yes, but you remembered. <laughs> What's all that about? Lassie wants to smell pretty, too. Well, girls will be girls. There you are. Mmm, <laughs> you smell delicious. Better take this. Never can tell, you know. Never can tell what? Whether we win or not. It's a raffle ticket. What's a raffle? You better tell him. He'll be asking questions all the way there. Well, a, uh, a raffle's a way of raising money, Skipper. You see, in this case, the school needs new recreation equipment, so uh, somebody donates a prize. Everybody sells a lot of tickets, and the school gets its recreation equipment. And the holder of the lucky ticket wins the prize. What'll we win? Oh, such optimism. I never won a raffle in my life. It's a piano. Mrs. Adams is moving to a smaller place, and she donated it, you see. And... What does donate mean? Well... Hey, is this raffle today or tomorrow? Uh, you, you get in the car, and I'll explain it to you on the way. Okay. Come on, Lassie. Young minds are full of curiosity, you Let's know. Let's go. Oh, here. Mustn't forget this. Don't let me forget to put this stub in the box. And now, the last point on our agenda, and what you've all been waiting for, the raffle. I know you'll be delighted to hear that our thumb drive is over the top. So you all deserve E for effort. In particular, I'd like to mention Mrs. Castro, a newcomer to our community, who sold over 15 books. Bought most of them myself. Now, if we can get someone to come up, we'll have the drawing. Maybe one of the children. Well, now, let me see. How about the smallest child? Timmy's the smallest. Well, it looks like we have two volunteers. This is Lassie. She's my dog. What is it, girl? Maybe Lassie wants to draw a ticket. <laughs> Lassie? She can do it. Well, if you're sure. Go ahead, Lassie. Pick a ticket. Pick a ticket. Thank you, Lassie. Now, let's see. Who has number four, two, six? Four, two, six. What's our number? Oh, um, uh, four, two, six. Oh, my goodness, I have it. It's mine. Well, go on up, Ruth. Go on. <laughs> Seems to be Martin night. So there you are. 426. That's the winning ticket, all right. Congratulations, Mrs. Martin. Oh, Mrs. Pfeffer, thank you very much. 
My goodness, I, I'm just so excited. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> well, suppose we have Mr. Martin come up and a few other of you Huskies so we can get this piano out on the truck. Well, now they're all up there. Paul, isn't it just wonderful? It is. Well, that's a mighty smart dog they've got. That's all I can say. Is that far enough? Hey, can't you move your end over a little more, Uncle Petrie? I can't go anymore. My back's up against the couch now. Oh, all right. Okay, Mom? Hmm? Oh, I guess so. Um, m maybe we could put the couch against that wall over there. But Ruth, we've had it against that wall before. Hmm? Oh, oh, yes, that's right. Well, then, look, let's put this table over there. Too bad they couldn't make that prize a guitar. Uncle Petrie, I thought you were a music lover. Oh, I still got an ear for music, but not the back. Okay, Uncle Petrie, shove. Quick, grab that lamp. How's that? Well, um, I think it's all right for the time being. Makes the room look kind of small. Oh, I don't care. I think it's so nice to have a piano in the house. I think I'll go phone Mrs. Graff. Mrs. Graff? Yes. Uh, I think Timmy should have piano lessons. You'd like to learn to play, wouldn't you? Well... Oh, of course you would. And Mrs. Graff is such a good teacher. I just hope she has the time. So, you're gonna learn the piano, eh, Skipper? I guess so. If you ask me, I'd rather be playing a piano than moving it. <laughs> well, you can have fun playing at all the parties. <laughs> hey, what's Lassie doing there? She's still not sure Mom isn't gonna move it again. You know something, Skipper? Neither am I. Timmy, do you really call those hands washed? Sure, Mom. You can see they're still wet. And they're still dirty. Now, you go wash them again. Mrs. Graff will be here in a minute. Okay. Yoo-hoo! Yoo-hoo, Miss Martin? Oh, hello, Mrs. Graff. How are you? Come on in. <laughs> oh. Oh, my, something smells awfully good. My applesauce cake. Well, I suppose you'd like to try the piano, wouldn't you? Come on, it's right in here in the parlor. Well, there it is. Isn't it a beauty? <laughs> Of course, the way everybody's talking, you'd think it was a concert grand. Talking? Oh, my, yes. Isn't it ridiculous? Just because Lassie happens to be your dog. Oh, <laughs> well, there's always some disgruntled person. W what do you mean? Oh, well, this is your little boy. Yes, Timmy, this is Mrs. Graff. Hello, Mrs. Graff. Now, you were saying... Oh, you... my, what sensitive hands. I just washed them, twice. Oh, well, Timmy should make a fine pupil. Now, first thing, Mrs. Martin, we shall need some exercise books. And I've written them all down here on the back of my card. Oh, fine. Well, I'll take care of that next time I'm in town. Oh, fine. Uh, now, in the meanwhile, Timmy, I'm going to show you some scales to practice. Won't that be fun? Yes. You see, Tibby, you have to practice to strengthen your little fingers and develop your technique. Do you practice? Oh, my goodness, yes. Two or three hours a day. Gosh. Now, sit down right alongside me, Timmy, like a good boy. Gee, Mom, 
We should have won a bigger bench. Hey. <laughs> well, I'll leave you two to get started. <clears throat> now, uh, now you watch. See? Now you try. Oh, very nicely. I gave him some more scales to practice until you can get the books. Oh, fine. And the sooner he learns to discipline himself, the better. I told him to practice ten more minutes before he stops. Very good. Well, thank you very much, Mrs. Martin. I'll see you next Tuesday. Oh, wait, won't you stay for some tea? Really, no. And some applesauce cake? Oh, that would be lovely. Good. Well, you sit right there. Good. This is a new recipe I'm trying. I got it from Mrs. McCullum. Oh, applesauce cakes is one of my favorites. Good. Oops. Who are you looking at? You want to go outside and play, is that it? Well, I can't. See, I've got to practice, and it's your fault. Why didn't you pick someone else's ticket? For heaven's sake, what's going on in there? Excuse me a minute, will you, while I go see? Of course. What's going on in here? I'm sure that's not the way Mrs. Graff told you to practice. Gosh, Mom, I didn't know playing the piano was going to be so hard. Oh, well, it won't be once you learn. Gosh, Mom, Lassie doesn't like the piano much. It hurts her ears, I bet. <laughs> well, those sour notes hurt my ears, too. The piano's too big. It takes up the whole parlor. We ought to give it back. Give it back? Well, all the fellas teased me about it at school today. Now, why should they tease you about the piano? They said Lassie won it for us on some kind of a trick. Oh, go on. Children say a lot of things they don't really mean. Well, Freddie Morton said Willie's mother told his mother that somebody told her that... Oh, now, wait a minute. You've lost me. Well, somebody told somebody that the raffle was a fake. Oh, well, don't you worry about such silly talk. You and I know better, don't we? I tried to tell the fellas. Well, why don't you just practice another ten minutes or so, and then you and Lassie can go out and play. Okay. Timmy tells me that the children have been teasing him at school about the raffle. Is that what you were trying to tell me? Oh, no one really believes that nonsense, Mrs. Martin. I, I would, I'd just ignore it if I were you. Yes, but these things don't start for themselves. Uh, well, I've been told there is some sort of protest petition going around to the school association. A petition? Now, who'd do a thing like that? It's that Mrs. Castro. It seems that she had an awful lot of tickets and... Oh. Oh, oh my goodness, look at the time. Oh, well, I, I almost clean forgot my four o'clock appointment. Well, now, I know you'll excuse me from eating and running, but <laughs> after all, uh, uh, business is business. <laughs> oh, oh, excuse me. I mean, <laughs> hello, hello, Mr. Martin. Right, how are you? Hi, dear. Hi. Well, how's the maestro doing? Oh, he's fine, I guess. See, you want to hear a good laugh? Yes, I could use one. Well, while I was over irrigating the South Meadow, Josh Farrow drove by and he said he wanted to borrow Lassie. Oh, what on earth for? Well, he said he'd bought two raffle tickets on a car in Calverton. He wanted to use her for the drawing. I don't think that's so funny. 
What? What's the matter, Ruth? Well, it seems there's a lot of talk going around that the raffle wasn't fair. Is that all that's bothering you? Mrs. Castro is even getting up a petition for the school association. Now, Ruth, you're not really going to take such a thing seriously. Well, I can't help it, Paul. Everybody's going to think that we won that raffle through some sort of a, a trick. Well, then they can just take their old piano away. Well, nobody's going to believe that. Josh was just having a little fun. He wasn't serious. He knows that I understand he was just joking. Well, Mrs. Castro isn't joking. Well, then she was being a poor sport. You take my word for it. If we bring that piano back now, that'll only prove she's right. Look, I've got an idea. I have to go into town and get some seed. And while I'm there, I'm going to put an end to this ridiculous rumor once and for all. I was going to ask you to order some music books for Timmy, but, well, now I don't know what to do. I'm finished. Hi, Dad. Hi, Skipper. You let me know what music books you want, and I'll get them for you. Well, Timmy, will you bring me Mrs. Graff's card from my purse? I think I left it on the sofa. Oh, and bring me a pencil, too, will you? Uh, there's one in the drawer of the end table. Okay. Music books. It's hard enough to read reading. Boy, but I could find Mom's purse with my eyes closed. <laughs> Oh, so you want to smell pretty again. Well, you'll have to wait for Mom. She doesn't like me touching her perfume. Oh, I almost forgot the pencil. from the hardware store. I can tell from the picture. What have you got there? Come on, give it to me. Mrs. Graff. How did you find this? You can't even read. Boy. You stay here. You gotta see something. It's real important. Slow down now and tell us what it's all about. You gotta see now. Come on. See all those cards? Timmy, all I asked was that you bring me a pencil. Now, one of those cards is Mrs. Graff's. Now, you watch this, Mom. Go on, girl. Pick it up. Mrs. Graff's card. How in the world did she... Smell it. <laughs> it smells like my perfume. That's because it was in your purse. And so was the raffle ticket. That's right, they were. And I bet Lassie smelled the perfume on it. And that's how she found it in the raffle. Oh, Paul. Oh, this is awful. And maybe this gossip isn't so ridiculous after all. Well, we'll just have to send the piano back, I guess. I won't keep it if there's any doubt about it. I'm going to call Mrs. Pfeffer and tell her we're coming right over. After all, she is president of the school association. She'll know what to do. Oh. It's such a lovely piano. Gee, Mom, I'm sorry. You know, Mr. Martin, you don't have to go through all this for me. I'm afraid you've let those foolish rumors upset you far more than's necessary. Believe me, Mrs. Pfeffer, if I hadn't seen Lassie do this with my own eyes, I... It's true. I saw it, too. We'll soon see. I've got the stubs right here. Here we are. And if Lassie does it again, I'll have to admit that the nose is sharper than the eye. <laughs> well, there's the perfume. All right. We'll put a drop of perfume on this one. I'll even hold Lassie's eyes so she can't look. 
Mark it with an X. What happens if she misses? Well, in that case, Timmy, you keep the piano, of course. You hear that, Lassie? You better not miss. I mean... All right, now, Timmy, you tell Lassie what to do. Go ahead, Timmy. All right, Lassie, take the card. Go on. Take it to Mrs. Pfeffer, girl. Oh. It's hard to believe this is the ticket I marked. You have an extraordinary dog, Timmy. This certainly presents a most unusual circumstance. Well, what should we do now? Well, I suppose the best thing is to send out notices that we'll distribute new tickets for another drawing in our very next meeting. Will you please give me a hand and send a couple of fathers to help move that piano back? Indeed, I will. Come on. Bye. Bye-bye, Mrs. Bye. Pepper. Well, as you all know, because of what happened at our last meeting, we're going to have another drawing for the piano. Now, you've all received your new tickets. I think you'll all agree with me that we should take this opportunity to thank the Martin family for their very good sportsmanship. In particular, Timmy Martin for his excellent detective work. And now, if someone would please come up for the drawing. Maybe a little girl this time. Or better, Mrs. Castro. Would you come up, please? I think Mrs. Castro deserves the honor since she did sell the highest number of tickets. One, nine, five. The winning number is one, nine, five. Paul. Look, I have it. it it's my number. Oh, no. You didn't win again. Uh, how are your muscles today? Does anyone have number one, nine, five? You do. I have. <laughs> Mrs. Pfeffer, um, well, I've been thinking. The piano is such a wonderful instrument. I think that it should go to the school for the benefit of all our children. Thank you, Mrs. Martin. And may I say, I'm sure they'll accept your most generous offer. And now, don't you think it might be a nice idea if we could all hear how the piano sounds? How about it, Mrs. Graff? Would you give us a solo? That was swell of you, Mom. <laughs> well, I'm glad you think so, dear. And Dad and Uncle Peter won't have to carry it home. And I won't have to practice. Now, see here, young man. That piano is part of the school. And I'm sure that Miss Hazlitt will see to it that all the children have a chance to learn, including you. Okay. It'd be nice to learn, I guess. You will, Timmy. You just listen now to how beautiful the piano can sound. <laughs> 